Morning. Step in the caravan. Forgot it on the last holiday. Shan't do that again. We're heading for Hebden Bridge Caravan and Motorhome Club site in West Yorkshire. Uh, this is the site we cancelled back in March because of the problem with the air suspension on the car. Um, we wanted to visit Ebden Bridge this year and this is the last week before the site closes for winter. We've never been to Ebden Bridge before and some fellow caravanning friends of ours moved from our hometown to Ebden Bridge uh, a year ago. So uh, what we're going to do is go and see them, have a look at the new home and uh, have a good old catch up. Oh, Gail's just been Googling. Hebden Bridge is a picturesque market town in the Calderdale Valley and it's been quoted as being the greatest town in Europe. Oh, and we've booked a fully serviced pitch. I've been taking it nice and steady and I'm getting 26.9 to gallon. Please turn left in 300 yards. So we're going to be turning off the A646. Now turn left. Turning on to New Road. Please follow the road for one mile. mile an hour on these roads around here. So we're on Crag Road, half a mile to go. In 300 yards, you will have reached your destination. Sat now, we're going to take me another 40 yards. You have reached your destination. Oh, there we go. It's not a very big site, is it? No. reception we got to reception and they said we can't uh, arrive on site until one so they turned us around so we we parked up on the road and we've just got back it's nearly one o'clock and the gates are shut it off to us pitch we've chosen pitch 42 oh this is a, a stone road an unmade road oh there's a few potholes here we're filled with dirty water Straddle them somehow. Don't get your clean wheels dirty, Robert. 
No, I'm going to have to clean my tyres. Oh, look at these. Oh, I believe it. That's poor standards for a caravan club. It is, really. I've not seen anything like this before. Bucket and sponges coming out once we've set up and had lunch. It's going to be two o'clock by the time we've set up. Then we have lunch. I mean, it's going to be close to three o'clock. Yeah, 42 here yeah, facing the motorhome service point. Good thing rain stopped. Look at my filthy wheels and tyres going through those dirty water-filled potholes. Potholes aside, it's actually a very pleasant small site. You've got Cragbrook behind us and sweeping hills in front of us. There's reception over there, and there are a few perimeter pitchers. We've separated edges, which is good, but these six service pitchers and a few standard pitchers are sandwiched in the middle, and you feel a bit exposed. And in our opinion, I don't think they are the best position. We wouldn't normally, you know, choose a pitch in the middle like this. We'd normally have a, a, a perimeter pitch, but the service pitchers happen to be in the middle, and, and this is where we are. Let's have a look at Cragbrook. We stood on pitch 25. We stood on pitch 25 looking back at the site. Uh, I'll point out there's no facility block here and that probably won't suit everybody. There's the B6138 Crag Road. And to be honest, it's not that intrusive. We're on pitch 42. I thought I was going to have to get the 25 metre hookup cable out, but the 10 metre one just made it to the bollard. Uh, you've got your tap, a grey waste, and also a TV hookup point on the bollard. Uh, well, on this pitch, I've raised and rotated the caravan aerial, and I've got all the stations, and mobile phone signal is good. This is a view down onto the site from the main road and you can see our caravan there in front of the service point. These are the six service pitches and we're on 42, facing the service and motorhome point. The dog walk is here at the entrance and the tarmac road ends here between pitch 17 and 18 and this is a rough stone road and all the potholes are around here. And then the tarmac starts again here at the side of our pitch and that's uh, Hebden Bridge site map. Morning, we're off to Hebden Bridge today to have a look around town. Um, Apparently there are no chain stores and they're all independent shops and there's also a 1920s Art Deco picture house that's been restored to its former glory so we'll see you there. Just outside site entrance are the two bus stops, one either side of the road. And at the side of the site gates is the dog walk. 
Hey, look at this here. This is the road up to the caravan site, but you don't notice the gradient because it's over five and a half miles anyway, and the caravan site's only, what, less than a mile up here. In Mythamroyd is a co-op convenience store and filling station. If you come in your car, you'll miss this Rochdale Canal. The canal goes under the road and it continues on the other side. Rochdale Canal, River Calder. Black Pit Lock. That's Black Pit Lock. That's the end of the towpath. And that's Calder Home Park. We're in Yorkshire and it's Yorkshire tea, uh, toast and strawberry jam flavour we sat down having a biscuit. So we've just come out of the park and here's Hebden Bridge Picture House. This is just below the picture house. Centre of town, marketplace here, it's not on today obviously. Thirty first of October today, happy Halloween. Spoilt for choice for eating places, Greek and Mediterranean restaurant. Look at these, isn't it? Prices here. The sushi, Japanese street food over there. It's a bit mucky, but here's a street map of the town. Site's filled up a bit since we left this morning. This is the caravan site, although it's not shown, this must be an earlier map. Our walk into Hebden Bridge took us down the B6138, down to the A646. We turned left, uh, walked along here, and then turned right down this short road, and that took us to the canal towpath, and that's about a mile. 
the co-op filling station is here then we continued along the canal to this point here where we had to cross over the road because the canal went under the road to the other side continued along the canal into the town centre and that's 2.4 mile around 50 minutes we're having biscuit tea in the flask today and we're going to head off out and explore a reservoir and a monument it rained nearly all night last night and it's a bit boggy today To be honest, I don't know which footpath we're on because uh, way markers are missing on many of the paths. And we're lost. Yeah, we'll have this cup of tea and biscuit and I'll figure a way to the reservoir. Or back to the caravan. Now I want to get to the reservoir. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. By the way, it would have looked beautiful in August here with all the heather out. I'm washing my boots in this groundwater that's uh, coming up through there, it looks like spring. Eventually got here, let's go and have a look at the reservoir. Have a look over here to the right. You can just see the tip of Studley Pike Monument. It's a bit late in the day. Uh, we're not going to do it now because we'll end up getting back to the caravan in the dark. Oh, it's uh, getting towards the end of the day, feeling a bit chilly now. So we'll head off back to the caravan good job we left the heating on. Bit of useful information here on the walks around the reservoir and up to the monument. Look at these two beautiful houses. Very unusual. And that one's for sale, the lodge. Um, must admit got it wrong today. Uh, after last night's rain it hammered it down. Uh, the footpaths along the brook through the woods were a bit treacherous. Um, in hindsight, I should have walked the road, the B road, then took the turn in for the access to the reservoir, walked around the reservoir, then walked up to the monument and then back again. Um, but, uh, well, you do make these mistakes, but you can park at the car park if you wanted to. We're absolutely, positively wet through, definitely a disaster day. I'll quickly show you our disastrous day. We come out of the caravan, turn right to this path. That took us to the brook, along the brook, to these woods, and then we got lost because of lack of way markers. And then we started climbing steep, slippy banks. And then after our tea and biscuits, I found out we were at high green on the moors here. Uh, then I decided we'll take this track along here to the tarmac road, and that took us down to the reservoir car park. And on our way back, we went down the access road, back to the B road, and then downhill in the pouring rain, all the way back to the caravan. Right, we're off back to Hebden. We're off out to lunch with our friends at the Stubbing Wharf. Les and Jen. Cheers. And Rob. And Rob. <laughs> <laughs> so Les, you've got fish and chips. Fish and chips. 
looks very nice. Staple diet. And what's that, Robert? Horseshoe gammon. That, that is. looks very good. Yes. I'll get to mine. I've got a gluten free crispy duck with some bubble and squeak and a caramelised onion gravy. gravy, yeah. And Jen. <laughs> Scampy. Delicious. We're going to enjoy this. We are indeed. Are you going to enjoy it? I hope so. <laughs> well, what a petite Clean plate, look. I've cleared my plate. No. <laughs> <Down the pulse. laughs> Gail's. Left of bones. Are you, are you not well, eating those? Only no. bones. <laughs> <laughs> that time of year again when you get up in the morning lift the blinds and the windows are covered in condensation so I always dry them off uh, and that will uh, prevent any mold growth you know over time well it's our last day today uh, we had a very nice meal at the Stubbing Wharf with Jen and Les yesterday um, unfortunately Gail left a handbag behind but Jen and Les have retrieved it uh, fortunately so what we're going to do today is get in the car, drive to Les's new business unit, have a look at that and collect Gail's handbag. And then we're going to drive to the Reservoir Car Park, walk up to Stoodley Pike Monument, have a look at that. So basically continuing where we left off the other day and then come back to the caravan and have a relaxing afternoon. Uh, but there's also in the area National Trust Hardcastle Crags. I'll read you a few pointers out of the handbook. It's a picturesque valley that has more than 25 miles of footpaths and 400 acres of woodland. There are tumbling streams and waterfalls and you can walk along the riverside to Gibson Mill, which is a former cotton mill, where there's information showing how the valley has changed over the past 200 years. Uh, there is a note, uh, there are steep paths, rough terrain, and the toilets and cafe at Gibson Mill are one mile from the car park. Um, we've had enough of um, walking up muddy hillsides and slipping and sliding everywhere, so we'll give this one a miss this time, but we're, there's always next time, though. Um, on this holiday, I've used OS Explorer map OL21 for, for us walks. This is the best day we've had this week for sunshine. So there's Withens Clough Reservoir and there's Stoodley Pike Monument. Doodley Pike Monument. It can go in, there's a spiral staircase. This is the level you can get to. And it's completely hollow all the way up. I don't know if you can see anything. No, I can't see anything. I've look out here. Fantastic views, look. Three hundred and sixty degree views, look. You can go all, all the way around the monument. That's another way of getting here. Miles, you 
can. 360 degree views. <laughs> That's the path we came along. A lot of stone carvings gone on over the years. I suppose uh, a lot of it's graffiti. What do you think to it then? I'm glad we came, yeah. The views are worth it. Boggy walk. But uh, I don't suppose we should complain about all the rain. This way, boggy on moorlands. This is a beautiful stone set moorland landscape. The walk to Stoodley Pike from the car park is one and a half miles. We walked along the side of the reservoir and then took this footpath here, along here, and then across the moorland to the monument. And then from the car park back to the caravan site, which is here, that's two miles. Well, that's it for another holiday. We'll try and squeeze another one in before Christmas, but that'll depend on the weather. Uh, talking about the weather, we've not done too bad at all through the daytime. Uh, apart from getting caught in that one heavy downpour, uh, all the rain we've had has been through the evening and the night. And so, yeah, we've done all right. And it's been lovely catching up with old friends and uh, exploring this area of West Yorkshire we've never been to before. So that's it for another video. Uh, hope to see you again soon. So bye for now.